DocuSign tutorial for beginners, how to send and sign documents. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with DocuSign. DocuSign enables you to sign documents online and to verify you have signed a document. It allows you to create an online platform where you don't have to send a lot of papers or fax papers and then have to sign them manually and then have to send them back. It can all be automated online, especially now when you're working online and it's no longer necessary to go to the office. Having an online e-signature is a really helpful tool that enables you to verify documentation. Now they have an electronic signature. They also have an advanced electronic signature. Now the difference between these two is first off, the basic electronic signature meets signature regulations, including the EIDAS. And then to validate the signature further, they also have an advanced electronic signature, which allows people to validate signer identity and support AES. And this is needed in the use cases that require stricter identity assurance. Maybe you want to sign a document that may be verifying something or that is more so important or requires more legal legislature. Then you have the qualified electronic signatures that is the legal equivalent of a written signature. So there are three basic levels of e-signs as well. Now let's get started with DocuSign and building our e-signature. So first off, just head on over to DocuSign.com and you can click on plans and pricing and you have the e-signature plan. So if you go into the signature plans, you have the personal signature standard as well as the business pro. On the personal one, you have five envelopes per month, reusable templates, and 900 partner signatures. Then on the standard one, you have shared templates, collaborative commenting, as well as customized branding. And then you also have the Business Pro, which allows you to resend and receive payments, bulk send, build power form, add advanced formulas and fields, as well as build signer attachments. Now let's get started for free because they offer you a free trial. So we can click on start for free and then go on ahead and put in your email address and click on get started. Once you click on get started, you can get started with the setup of your account. So we're just going to verify this like so. And once we put in our email, DocuSign is going to get started with creating our account. So as you guys can see, I have an account already, but I will create a new account. So we can get started with the account set up together. And we are just verifying our email address with DocuSign over here. And once your verification is completed, you can set up a password as well. And then we can proceed with building our DocuSign signatures. So now that our account has been created, you will see this will be your account dashboard. Now in your dashboard on the top, you have a home section. Then you have a management section where you can manage your inbox, which will include on the left a inbox, then you have a sent folder, any drafts that you have created, any deleted files or documents, and then you have quick views. Quick views allow you to see emails or documents that have been shared to you. So any documents that require action, are waiting for others, expiring or completed can be viewed over here. On the top, then you have a template section. And if you take a look at the templates, you can create different templates to send invoices, to make billing documents, to build signatures and more. Then you have a report section that allows you to see the envelope usage that you have. And then you just have your basic settings. Now, once you have taken a look at your basic DocuSign dashboard, you can get started with actually creating your e-signature. And I already have built an e-signature with DocuSign and you can easily customize your signature and you have a few different uh, trials on that as well. So if you take a look at your signing and sending, you will see your signing settings and then you have your signing experience, the recipients, the delegation, the envelope delivery as well as the DocuSign frame. So if you want, you can choose to add the frame or not add the frame if you want. And you can also go on ahead and customize your signature however you personally like. Now I'm going to go into the signing settings on DocuSign and from our home dashboard, we can get started with building our document. So First off, I'm going to go into manage over here and we're going to start creating our first document on DocuSign. 
So click on DocuSign and once you click on DocuSign, you can click on start now and you can create a envelope. An envelope is basically any documents that you want. So you can click on upload your files over here or click on use a template to use any pre-existing templates that you have created. So you can even go into all templates to view your templates and click on add selected and this will add any of the templates that you have created. Then you can add a recipient and who is supposed to receive this and then you have the email subject and then you can go on ahead and customize the appearance of your documents as well. So as an example, let's go on ahead and take a document like this and I'll just upload this document. And once I have the document, I can add I'm the only signer, so I don't have to add a message with this. And then once I do that, I can go on ahead and click on sign on the bottom. And then I can just click on view and whatever is, you know, the document, you can view it in the full view section where you can add a documentation field, a signature field. You can add a date as well. You can add any kind of demarcation. So we can click on the document, let's say. I want to add the file over here or you know the signatures over here so at the bottom i can see on the left we have the option to add signatures and i can enter my signature we also have the option to add our initials we have the stamping options you can add a stamp as well if you haven't created a stamp you can upload your own image to build your own customized stamp then you can also choose to add the date sign and once you do that you can click on finish on the top right and then that is it so you can share your signed document with yourself or just click on finish to save this document you can click on the download icon or print icon to add a print of your document now if you want, you can see over here that you have your signature and your home dashboard. If you want to customize it, you guys can see I have the signature over here. These are the signature options that I can choose from. These are generated by DocuSign. If I want, I can draw my own signature as well. So I can just draw the signature Jane like this. It's not looking pretty good. I'll redraw this. So even if you have created your signature once, you can go on ahead and customize it later on. Now, obviously, if you have a touch application, it's going to help you in drawing your signature. You can even upload your signature if you wish or choose from the default signatures provided by DocuSign. It allows you to customize your signature. However, if you are signing legal documents and you are on a paid plan, I would suggest that you make sure before you're signing legal documents that you have chosen a signature that you will be using moving forward. So. And this way you can get started with documents signing using DocuSign. Now, if you want to send out documents that other people have to sign, you can go into templates and click on create template. And then from here, you can build a document that other people have to sign. So let's say this is a leave for, or a three day leave. And then this is going to be just a sample. And then I can go on ahead and upload the file. And I'll just use a file from my desktop like this. And once I do that, I can add a recipient or I can click on the document over here and then I'll scroll to the bottom. And let's say at the bottom, I want to maybe add a field. So I can go on ahead and edit that document as well, but I will go into add the recipient and the recipient is going to be the owner or the, let's say it's going to be the CEO and they need to sign this. It can be a different field as well if they only need to view it, if they only need to receive a copy, if they are the in-person signer. And then you can also add a customization option, such as adding a private message, adding the access code, adding the name and email. And then let's say I add the name and then the email. And then after that, I can add the recipient if there are more than one recipients and then just click on next to send them to the accurate person. So now that I have this form, I can go to the bottom and choose where I want to have the people sign. So I will add a signature option over here. And then once we do that, we can see once we have added that, let's say I also want the date, the sign and the date. And then once I do that, I can click on save and close. And these would be sent to the relevant people that we have added as recipients for this particular document. So in this way, you can get started with DocuSign as a beginner. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about DocuSign or any other platform, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.